Hi everyone! I'm Michael Putlack, and I'm tabling at Denver Zine Fest in a few weeks, so I thought I'd walk you through the process of how I got my table set up. This is my first time tabling at a zine fest. I just got half a table, and I think the first thing I need to do to get ready is to make a sign. As I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit about Denver Zine Fest. It takes place August 19th from 11 to 5 at the Globeville Center on Grant Street. There are over 80 vendors that'll be attending, so I'm positive that there's going to be a lot of really cool zines there. The whole event is put on by the Denver Zine Library, which is an awesome local org dedicated to promoting and preserving zines. RPG zines are a super small niche in the already small niche that is the zine space, so I might be the only one that has them, but I hope this makes me a little bit more interesting to people who are browsing the tables. Plus, D&D &D is more popular than ever, so I know there will be people there who have played TTRPGs before. For all I know, I might be able to expose those people to a non-D&D game for the very first time. I think that's pretty exciting. I'm usually not too crafty, but it felt great taking out some markers and making the sign. And I even thought I was pretty clever using whiteout as a highlight. So even though this totally screams pizza box to me, I really like it. Next, I figured I'd set the table so I could get a feel for what it would be like on the big day. Again, that big day is August 19th. I have a pretty cool looking rug handy that my partner sometimes uses for yoga, so I think that'll make a good base for the table. I think this will work way better than just a plain tablecloth. For displaying the zines, I got a few wire stands that I think will do the job really well. My first zine is Mech Tech. It's the game I kickstarted during the pandemic. I just did a second printing to get enough stock to support the zine fest. I also still have a few special edition copies that I hand printed, which I think are really cool too, and hopefully it will draw people's attention. Next, and this one's kind of recent, I just turned another one of my games into a zine. Be Kind Rewind was just a few written pages before, but now I fleshed it out, put some cool photography in there, and printed it on some nice looking paper. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Another zine that I've prepped is Where the Ocean Meets the Shore and Men Meet Gods. I realize in retrospect how I could have probably come up with a at least shorter name than that, but this was made in the truly early days of the pandemic, and I might not have been thinking totally clearly. The game's actually an expansion of another game, In the Light of a Ghost Star, but you don't need the original one to play it. All the rules are in my copy. Finally, the last zine I have is this little mini zine. The Pocket Tome of Wondrous Items is a collection of nine items that are designed for D&D 5e, but can really be used in any fantasy tabletop role-playing game. Oh yeah, and these sheets here, they're actually static stickers. You use them with mech tech by cutting them out, and then you can build your custom mechs. I think it'll be fun for people to build their own mechs at my table, and hopefully it'll encourage them to pick up a copy of the game as well. And of course, it wouldn't be tabling at a zine fest if I didn't have a few stickers. I've got one for Be Kind Rewind, I've got another one that's just the Night Noon Games logo on a cool VHS tape, and the other one's a mech tech sticker. Next, I propped everything up so I knew how much space everything would take on the table. I decided I wanted things in a bit of a different order, so I did do a little rearranging. Oh, and I should also mention, I've also printed out a bunch of URLs so that people who buy my zines can get a free PDF of them as well. I like having PDF copies of games that I buy, so I hope people appreciate this and find it kind of nifty. As for the table, I guess I'll need to make sure that I have enough space for things like info on my zine, prices, the QR code so people can pay me, and I'm also going to get a clipboard so people can sign up for my mailing list if they want to. But I think I'm going to be okay on space without having to plan too much more for those. And here's how it looks, at least without the banner. I didn't really want to tape that up now in case it, you know, ruined it. I think it looks pretty good and I think it'll get people's attention. Oh, and uh, for fun, here's a Photoshop version with the banner in it, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Yeah. Looking good. So if you're in the Denver area, come check out Denver Zine Fest from 11 to 5 on August 19th. Make sure to stop by my table. Oh, and before you go, make sure to sign up for my newsletter using the link in the description below. I'll send you some free Dragon Tail lore for that. And you can follow me on social media too. And if this seems kind of cool to you, you can even check out one of my other videos. Other than that, stay inspired and keep those dice rolling. Thanks for watching.